Today is the fifth day of the WISIS Forum 2016 and we welcome you all for a vibrant day full of workshops, thematic workshops, country workshops, action line facilitation meetings, knowledge cafes, hackathons and a lot other workshops today. Uh, we are joined today with the high level track facilitators uh, who are a part of the uh, new format that we introduced uh, this year to the WISIS Forum. The WISIS Forum had several innovations this year and moderated high-level policy sessions were one of them. This was based on the uh, results of the open consultation process from the WISIS Forum 2016 and the WISIS Plus 10 ONGA overall review outcome document. I have the pleasure of uh, having all the high-level track facilitators with me here today. I'd like to start with uh, Shaila Fennell from University of Cambridge. Shaila represented the academic community and I'd like to ask Shaila to share some impressions of the WISIS Forum with us here today. Morning Geetanjali. For me this is the first WISIS Forum and as an academic member, uh, as a high level facilitator, someone who read the ITU reports and engaged uh, through reading with the community. This has been a very exciting opportunity. Uh, what was particularly for me valuable was the sense of cooperation between ministers, organizations, and of course, most amazingly, the team that we shared here. So thank you very much, and I hope that we have another version of this in the years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Shaila. Uh, Professor Greg Shannon from Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, Professor Shannon, what were your impressions and takeaways from your session and from the WISIS Forum in general? Well, from the Bridgeting Digital Divides, it was impressive how the eight uh, panelists all had actual progress in uh, bridging digital divides and huge optimism for continuing that in the future. Thank you, Professor Shannon. Uh, we have Anna from the technical community. And uh, I believe, Anna, this was the first WISIS forum, forum for you. So what were your impressions and uh, the key uh, takeaways for you from the forum? Thank you. It was my first WISIS forum. I moderated a session that included um, delegates from four continents and four different groups of stakeholders. And it was fascinating that all of them had wonderful case examples of the way they are addressing the enabling environment for ICTs, climate change, and cybersecurity issues. Indeed, WISIS Forum, the key platform for sharing best practices and showcasing best practices from all over the world. Good morning, Nigel. Good morning. Nigel, too, represents the stakeholder community from the technical uh, community. And uh, Nigel, you are a regular at the WISIS Forum. And what was different this time? And what are your impressions from the WISIS Forum this time? Well, thank you very much. I, I, I think it was different. And this, this experiment that you referred to in having facilitation, in having questions rather than statements, I think is a brilliant innovation. The panel I had the privilege to, uh, to moderate uh, comprised of ministers from a number of countries. And what we really found was an energy, a real energy to do something, to use ICTs to implement the sustainable development goals. Not there on the detail yet, but the principle and the purpose behind it is all there. Thank you. Indeed, uh, Nigel, ICTs as an effective solution for implementing and achieving the SDGs. Uh, good morning, Lori. Uh, Lori had indeed a very special panel uh, that was dominated by civil society organizations. Uh, and uh, Lori, can you share some of the real case studies and excitement that emerged from your session? Thank you. Yes, it was a very exciting session and the new optimal word has come out, cyber optimism. That there are NGOs out there with a lot of energy. More specifically, we had cyber volunteers who have more technical and experienced users teach new users new technologies. We had Bridge Africa who is helping the African continent create websites through texting. And we had the Bangladesh NGOs who, uh, for radio and communications who are helping women and youth broadcast local content in local language. Thank you. National, regional experiences being shared at the WISIS Forum. Thank you, Lori, indeed. Uh, hello, Klaus. Klaus represents the civil society. Uh, Klaus has been a great supporter of the WISIS Forum since its inception. Uh, Klaus, can you share your first impressions of uh, WISIS Forum 2016? Uh, 
as Nigel already mentioned, it's a different spirit. There's a spirit of cooperation, there's a spirit of optimism. And the key message of my session was quite simply, let's get it done. Let's really work on the sustainable development goals and try to fulfill them. And I think that's a brilliant message in a time where we don't have many positive messages. Thank you. Thank you, Klaus. A positive message indeed. Partnership and collaboration is key to success. Good morning, Karen. Uh, Karen, you, you moderated a very interesting session and uh, it had a lot of um, good messages for us uh, so that we can improve in the future, we can uh, make it even more vibrant. Can you share some of the key messages that uh, came across to you? Uh, sure. First of all, it was an honor to be part of this uh, inaugural uh, a process of uh, high-level facilitators, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, you know, this, I think a, a work of the last 10 years has really culminated in some significant change at WISIS, and we look forward to taking that into IGF as we, in other uh, activities that we get through the year. Uh, for my panel, it was very interesting, and we were very honored to have the minister from Mexico on our panel, and as we're leading up to IGF, which will be in Mexico, um, you know, hopefully we can take those case studies that were presented. Uh, you know, it's global issues, but we need to definitely look at it uh, and have discussion on a, on a local level about that. So um, my key takeaway was to sort of keep that momentum going. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Indeed, uh, going uh, global to local and local to global, sharing all our experiences. Uh, good morning, Thomas. Uh, Thomas represents the United Nations University, and uh, he also had a very interesting session. In fact, his was the first session at the WISIS Forum. Uh, Thomas, uh, as the first moderator, uh, what was your impression of this uh, new format? Yes, I would, I would like to say I'm a long-term attendant of WISIS Forum and I particularly appreciate the value of the Forum for international and cross-sectoral networking. Uh, um, this year in particular, I was impressed by the growth of the development orientation, um, uh, intersecting in various interesting ways with various uh, action line, WISIS action lines. So we really begin to see the connection between WISIS and SDG taking shape. So congratulations to ITU. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, I'm joined here with Ifat. Ifat does extremely interesting work in the area of gender equality and gender mainstreaming in the area of ICT. Uh, Ifat, uh, as you also know that the uh, UNGA high-level outcome document stressed a lot of importance on gender equality being a cross-cutting issue around the Sustainable Development Goals and the ICTs. Uh, what were your impressions of the WISIS Forum and uh, your session in particular. Well, first of all, congratulations to the WISIS Forum organizers and it's a welcoming step that we are moving from statements to dialogue and, and that's one of the biggest difference with that we saw at WISIS Forum. Also uh, of the sessions that we organized on gender equality and the sessions that I moderated, the high-level sessions, um, the recurring theme which I find really really promising was poverty reduction and gender mainstreaming through ICTs. So um, I'm very happy to be part of all this. Thank you. Thank you, Ifat. Uh, poverty reduction and gender mainstreaming through ICTs is extremely crucial. Good morning, Cece. Uh, Cece had a great session. He represents the Africa, African Civil Society Network. Uh, we'd like to thank you, Cece, for offering us the African uh, goodies and the, uh, uh, the uh, local uh, food and uh, drinks that you shared with us. Uh, Cece, what were your impressions of the WISIS Forum this year? Thank you, Gitanjali. Um, I'm very grateful of uh, the big, big improvement of the visits. I'm a long-term uh, uh, participation in the visits, but this is for me the best one because of the format, because of the multi-stakeholder approach, and uh, because of having moderators from all uh, all stakeholders. And my main um, my session was on uh, bridging digital divide, and what we really stressed was. Uh, think uh, for business people, think about people as a human being also. Think about local contents, think about local languages so that you can broaden your, your market and make people concerned by, by ICT. J just not go for fun or for gadget, but think about the, the human aspect of ICT. And I, I congratulate you and uh, all the team of uh, ITU 
and ITU partners for this very brilliant and innovative way of conducting uh, the VCs forum. It's really excellent. Thank you. Thank you, CC. I'm glad that we could live up to your, to your expectations. Uh, we are joined with Chinmay, who is the nomination, uh, who was nominated from the WISIS Civil Society Coordination Group. Uh, Chinmay, what were your impressions of your session and the new format of the WISIS Forum? Thank you, Gitanjali. This is my second WISIS Forum. We at the Center for Communication Governance at National Law University participated last year. I was so happy to see how the forum is evolving and becoming more multi-stakeholder. It's creating new spaces for engagement for different stakeholders. This year we actually organized a workshop on enhanced cooperation in addition to my high-level facilitation. And I found that both created spaces for a lot of engagement with all kinds of stakeholders that we wouldn't get to meet otherwise, which was very valuable to us. And I look forward to future VISIS forums. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chinmay. We hope to see you again and again, and we invite you already for Visis Forum 2017. In conclusion, I would like to uh, invite Mr. Yaroslav Ponder, who, uh, who is the main person behind the Visis Forum. Uh, Yaroslav, uh, in conclusion, what uh, is your view about the new format, and uh, do you think that this can evolve into something uh, very uh, useful for the Visis Forum? Thank you very much, uh, Gitanjali. Uh, we, in fact, uh, following up on the outcomes of the ANGA review, which concluded that the WISIS Forum should be held uh, on the annual basis in Geneva uh, for the next 10 years. So we are starting really the new decade of the real cooperation, and this is the proof of uh, how we can engage with different type of the stakeholders in, May in order to make this real uh, transition from uh, the statements to the real actions in the field. And this is our objective of the WISIS, to make sure that the WISIS framework is impacting and accelerating the, the achievement of the SDGs. And we are looking forward to the next year, uh, WISIS Forum 2017, uh, with an engagement of all our multi-stakeholder representatives at different levels, from leaders uh, to those who are really doing the work on the ground. Thank you, Yaroslav. Our multi-stakeholder high-level track facilitators did an excellent, brilliant job. They set an example uh, for the WISIS forums to come in the future. Uh, people will be uh, looking at them and their reports as a reference point for the future. Please uh, do read their reports, which are already online on www.wisis.org slash forum. Thank you very much, and we hope to see all of you in 20, Wishes Forum 2017. Thank you.